Hi guys, I thought we'd look at Brilliant Disguise today by Bruce Springsteen. Uh, this was a request from Frank Maturi. Uh, if you have a request yourself, just do the subscribe thing and then pop your request in below and I'll put it on the list. Uh, this song is basically, it's, it's written in A. Um, he then plays it in G with a capo on. Uh, he also now plays it live in A without capo, so we'll talk about that briefly. Uh, and I'll put a link at the bottom, you can skip straight to that bit if that's the bit you're interested in. Uh, it's mainly a basic, kind of really simple strumming pattern that he's doing uh, with a little bit of chords with the G sus 2 and 4. So that's the main bit of the song, uh, and then the rest of it's kind of just chords and rhythm. So, we'll push straight into that. Okay, so the first thing we're going to look at is the rhythm. He just does eight down strums, so it's just one and two and three and four and in this kind of pumping down action. Uh, what you can do to kind of make it sound a bit more interesting is to vary how many strings you're hitting. Um, and also this accent, he does an accent on the first beat and what would be the fourth down strum, so the two and. So one and two and, those two are the loud ones. Uh, that's also where he's going to change the chord all the time. Uh, if it's not a full bar, if it's a half bar, he pushes the rhythm uh, so it's on that and beat and not the third beat. Um, it's just called push it. So, if we look at a G chord, we're going to play G in kind of the folk G with the, the three fingers not using your first finger. Uh, and also this middle finger is not really going to play, so it's going to be the little, thi little finger on the third fret of the E and the ring finger on the bass third fret. You're going to go and do three down strums, one and two, and then middle finger comes on the second fret of the G. And then you do five down strums because we've split that bar unevenly. One and two and three and four and. And then that's how we're always going to change the rhythm. So I won't go into too much with that, otherwise it will get boring. Then we go into G sus four for three beats which is your first finger on the first fret of the B string, take your middle finger off. And then just back to that first G we had. You could put that finger back on and make it kind of like a full folk G, so it'd be... It's completely up to you. He just kind of leaves it hanging from what I can see from the video. Uh, and you do that all three times. It's the same for the intro, he just does that lick over and over again. Then we go to D over F sharp. So it's just a D chord, thumb plays the F sharp. If you can't get that with your thumb, you can do this D and use your first finger. Uh, that also works just as well. I prefer the thumb way. So thumb comes on the second fret of the bass. And same rhythm, you're going to hold a full bar of D over F sharp. And then you go to D sus 2, so middle finger comes off then back to D over F sharp. So I'm just coming from the G sus, uh, the G, the bars of G before it. And then that whole section just repeats itself. So you have three sets of the riff and then the D bit. That's the verse. If you want to spice it up a bit with the rhythm, what you can do is add in some sixteenth notes. So it'd be the up and it would be the ups in between. So if I just do it on the lick. You could just add in a couple of ups in between those downs and it will just speed it up a bit. For the chorus, we're still keeping that push rhythm of changing in the half bar. We're gonna go E minor to G. C back to G, which incidentally is the same as how he plays Atlantic City. Same again. And now the bit where he's like, uh, and you baby. It's pretty similar, but slightly different. E minus to G is the same. go D to G. Uh, 
then C for a whole bar. I like to keep the little finger on for this bit as well. G for a whole bar. D. And then back into the riff. So I'll just play through that chorus nice and slow. And then the last bit we've got to do is the bridge, which is really simple. He just does two full bars of D. And then we do G to G sus 2 again. But instead of going up to G sus 4, we just go back to G and do the same thing again. So you do that G to G sus 2 twice. Then you go to C, two bars. to the G and G sus2 and again two full bars of D two full bars of C you can throw in those 16th notes two full bars of G two full bars of D to finish That's basically it. To keep it interesting, it's all about keeping those down strums with maybe a couple of up strums, but that accenting. So if you can keep that rhythm sounding sort of fresh by not playing everything at the same volume, that's the key. Okay, for anyone who is interested in playing it in A, I'll just very, very briefly talk through the riff and then I'll give you the chords. So it's the same idea, same rhythm, and you start on a normal A, then A sus 2, so take your ring finger off. Then I just use my ring finger, slide it up to the 3rd fret. And then you would go to an E, full bar, and then middle finger comes across to that F sharp on the bass. And backs, so if I come in from that A, And then everything else is just the same, you just need to move it up a step, so it'd be F sharp, A, D, A. And then it's there, it's the same. So the, the bridge will be E, A, D, A, E, D, A, E. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed that lesson. Uh, if you, as I said at the beginning, if you want any lessons or anything, just pop them in below. Do the subscribe thing. I've also got my own music coming out pretty soon, so keep an eye out for that, and I'll see you next time.